I did something kind of radical. So in 2016, I, I started to really listen to my wife. <laughs> right? I, you know, I know, that's just crazy, right? And, uh, and especially for us, because we don't speak the same language. So to really listen to my wife, I had to get an interpreter. This is when things really started to change. I'd, I'd already been teaching energy work for, for 10 years. I, had, you know, I was getting fairly successful, where I had some products out and, and so on. And you know, my ego had expanded and gotten bigger and it was starting to shrink again. You know, that always happens. It gets bigger and smaller. We were in Sedona and Hisami said, she, she's been teaching this spirit mind work for a long time, for 10 years. And she said, um, I'm teaching a little class for one of my friends. I think maybe you suggested, why don't you get an interpreter and actually like listen to your wife? <laughs> and I did and I sat in Isami's class and it completely changed me. Like even though I knew about energy and I thought I had things figured out, I realized, wow, she has, the, she has that map that I've been looking for. You know, this map that shows you where the steps are along the way and what it looks like to grow and the backstory, like why is it happening? What, um, what's changing on the planet? Where did it come from? It turns out that Hisami has that story and she actually wrote a book about it 10 years ago. And, and I just didn't know because I, I don't speak Japanese and I was just having fun hanging out with her, right? <laughs> you know? I, was in, I was involved in our relationship rather than her teaching. So this is really fun. So this is what we're sharing with you this weekend, the first time outside of Japan, we're talking about, okay, what, what is this? What's actually happening on the planet? And the reason why this is really fun is that when you understand kind of this journey, you can know like where you are in the journey. And when you know where you are in the journey, then it's, it's relaxing. It doesn't feel like, oh, the world's going crazy or I'm going crazy. You just say, oh, I'm probably over in, you know, B zone, C zone, D zone. That's what, that's what we call them. That's what Isami calls them. And, uh, and things start to relax. It just gets a lot easier.